Hey guys, I'm Sam from Penn Fishing New Zealand uh, and this morning we've been soft baiting the shallow water coasts of northern New Zealand. So we're here with the Penn crew testing out the brand new Penn authorities uh, and we're targeting Big Snapper. So right now it's the middle of winter and fishing these shallow water wash areas is a really exciting way of catching Big Snapper. This style of fishing requires super tough tackle but also lightweight because we are finesse style fishing after all. So this here is a perfect example of the right gear to use when soft baiting the shallows. We're using a Penn Authority 2500 size reel. It holds around 300 metres of 15 pound braid and has 9.1 kilos of drag. We've matched it up today with a Penn Regiment. Uh, this one's a 722, but anything between seven foot and seven foot six or seven foot nine and about four to eight or six to 10 kilos is bang on. This particular line is the all new Penn Slammer braid running in 20 pound and we've matched that to 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. 30 pound is perfect because it gives you extra abrasion resistance for fishing obviously shallow rocky areas. I have this particular set matched up to a half ounce five burrow jig head and we're fishing six inch grubs. And then the grub tail I really like just because it fishes for you all of the time. There's, there's, there's not a single second where this, this bait is not working for you. As far as areas to fish, what we're basically looking for is nice rocky coastline, but most importantly we're looking for broken fowl scattered out across the bottom. So not just the cliffs, but broken fowl out to about 15 odd metres and allows us to cast not only at the wash but also at the other side of the boat uh, to cover as much ground as we can. This style of fishing will work at any time of day but it's particularly effective at change of light, so early morning and right on dusk. As you can probably hear, we're sort of putting along in gear and out of gear to sort of slowly work our way up a coastline, making sure to fish the pressure edge of every piece of structure. What the guys are doing is they're casting sort of a 360 degree but mostly ahead of the boat and we're trying to land our baits inside the sandy guts in between bombies. As far as retrieve goes, it's pretty straightforward. Basically we're, we're, we're making sure to place our casts into the sandy bombies, letting them sink for a few seconds uh, and then before beginning our standard soft bait retrieves. Quick twitch and then let it sink. It's super exciting because the bite often happens quite a long way away from the boat and it requires the driver to get right on top of the fish, some aggressive boat driving uh, in order to stop the snapper from busting us off on the reef. It's really important to have a solid reel with nice smooth drag. These fish know their way around the bombies and they're not afraid to take you to the cleaners. For anybody looking to target trophy snapper on soft baits, this is the perfect way of fishing. It's the most exciting and most effective and best of all for 90% of the North Island coast, this is super accessible.